on a day-to-day -day basis, I actually think the boyfriend's right. I think that you need to find validation in yourself and not seek it from other people. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to our Facebook Live episode of Relationship Theory. I am your co-host, Tom Bilyeu, and I am here with... Lisa Bilyeu. Yeah, buddy. And we're going to be talking relationships, taking your questions as always. All right, let's get right into it. All right, let's get right into it. So this is a question from um, last week's episode on YouTube. Okay. And, um I need to get more social, like I don't really go and make, I know, you hate it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't really comment often, I get very busy and sadly, in fact, not sadly, I don't prioritize it and I really start, should start to, but this caught my eye so much that I actually responded saying how much I love the question. Wow, this so, really must be a question and a half then. So for this is the first responded. question. This is from Kayla Wilburn on YouTube okay. and she says, my boyfriend tells me it isn't his job to validate me. Is this a red flag? <laughs> I love this question. All right, well, why don't you break and it down? And I love it because I think we're going to have different answers. Very interesting. All right. Well, or at least an adaptate. I think you'll probably, yeah, adapt my answer a bit. I'll adapt your <laughs> answer. I'm not sure how to take that. <laughs> well, because You're I, saying I bite your answers? Is that what we're, no, what we're saying? No, here? no. Um, okay, so, yeah, so it isn't his job to validate me. Well, the question is, do you validate yourself, right? Do you have... Um, self-confidence and are you strong enough within yourself that you can take, let's say, outside criticism in general. The problem is, I remember I used to look at you and almost the same thing, like want validation of, am I pretty? Um, am I smart enough? Am I doing a good job? Like I would turn to you for that. And I remember you basically turned around to me one day and was like, you need to find that within yourself because you need to feel that on a basically day-to-day -day basis. And I can't remember the exact words that you used, but after us talking through it, it made sense, right? Because if you're having a bad day, if you're distracted, if you're just pissed off, whatever the situation may be, if you turn around and you say something that, you know, is flippant to you, you don't think about it, but then I take it to heart and now I base my validation on what you're saying to me, it's a downward spiral. I think it's super dangerous. Um, but, but I think it's also very important that you are there to lift me up when I need it, right? If I turn to you and I say, look, I'm feeling really down right now or I'm really struggling right now and I turn to you for like, hey, am I doing a good job? One, you're always going to be honest with me. So if you actually think that I'm slacking, you'll phrase it in a way that makes me feel good and motivated. Um, but then you'll be like, okay, this is what she needs for me as my, you know, as the husband, she's looking for this. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I actually think the boyfriend's right. I think that you need to find validation in yourself and not seek it from other people. Respect. So um, I'm going to adapt your answer now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's, the, here's the truth from my perspective. If I could watch their relationship for an hour, I would tell you what the real answer is. And I actually don't know who's right and who's wrong. So to your point, um, everybody has to find that within themselves. And it, he is right that it isn't his job to validate her. Um, but if I were watching their relationship, I'd be able to tell if she is um, in a state of an inflamed deep limbic system where it's like everything is perceived as negative, which is always um, dangerous, that if you're not able to accurately sort of assess a situation and figure out whether the input is actually negative or if you're just perceiving it as negative, right. if it's neutral or if it's positive. So she may be, um, like you said, feeling very insecure, not have the stability inside. She's turning to him for the external validation. He probably gave it in the beginning. Um, this is sort of, Theory A, because I think there's two equally plausible theories. Theory A, um, this is somebody who just hasn't found that within themselves. External forces have been allowed to um, create a very unstable sort of um, internal representation of herself, and thusly she needs the feedback externally. Super dangerous position to be in. You're never going to have self-esteem. You're never going to have self-confidence because you're always looking to the outside world. Okay, that's option one. And let's say that he supported her in the beginning of that, and then over time it begins to wear on him to always have to be that external validation. And so in a moment of fatigue, you know, let's say three years into a relationship or whatever, he blurts out, it's not my job to validate you, okay? That's very plausible theory A. Yeah. Very plausible theory B is 
um, he's a dick. <laughs> and he, it is a red flag and yeah. it is in a relationship, I believe one of the most important foundational elements is to make the other person feel better about themselves when they're around you than they do when you're not. Mm -hmm. And so what starts as a confident person slowly erodes over time. I'm actually reading Layla Ali's biography right now in preparation for tomorrow's interview. And that's something like watching that happen to her where she'll make an initial, let's say, I think she would agree, poor choice in the person that she brings into her world. But there's an initial flurry of excitement and romance and that person does make her feel better. But then over time, they in small ways and then sort of escalating into grand ways, they begin to erode her and chip away at her self-confidence. And by doing things that, at least in the retelling, paint them in, in a, a parasitic light, I guess is the only way. Like, I'm not even saying that they're intentionally trying to hurt her. It's just their behavior is one-sided. It's very selfish. And it takes and takes and takes without ever giving. So if the person is in that mode and they're um, not making you feel safe, I think that's so big to create a safe space for each other emotionally where the person can be vulnerable. That's accepted as sort of a sacred space that you're not going to use that against them later. That's something we talked about either last episode or a couple episodes ago where if you create a space where the other person can be vulnerable, they can tell you something that they're deeply concerned about and they have the courage to say it out loud, they've given you a weapon that you can use against them. If you ever use that weapon against them, in my definition, you're a dick. Well, it's, like that's, it's done. It's done in the relationship. Uh, I mean, look, I think there's going to be slip-ups. Like, beat, cheat, right? Those are always your two big things. There was never the, and if you use this against me in the future, because there have been times where I've said something, you're like, whoa, I'm, that really stung that you use that. Yeah. And I thought, oh my God, like, I totally get what you're saying now, not at all my intention. So I won't put that like in the cardinal sin category, but like if it's repeated behavior, you're going to make that person insecure and then they're gonna need that validation even more. So it's like, how do you, like let's say that she is a completely um, deep limbic systems, not inflamed, she's able to accurately perceive negative, neutral, positive, and she is looking for a safe space, she's looking to be vulnerable and to not have those weapons used against her, and they are occasionally, either intentionally or unintentionally being used against her, the space becomes unsafe. Like, then I get how we reach this moment where mm. she's like, hey, I'm sure she never said I need you to validate me, but I would understand how the behavior becomes like, I'm looking for that thing in this relationship, right? Because right? here's where I think people really get in trouble. There's so much momentum and, um, uh, what is the right word? It's not logistics, but there's like a uh, connective tissue in a relationship. You're living together. Maybe you have kids. Um, the finances are intermingled. It really does become very, very difficult to just tell someone, hey, extract yourself from the relationship. Like it's, it's a ball. So there's certainly going to be this period where you're going to try to work it out, even if it's sort of hopelessly gone. So I can also imagine that scenario. So it really does come down to being super objective. And because each of those scenarios are so plausible, this is why I tell people just always assume it's your fault. Because if you start with, okay, this is my bad. I'm being overly sensitive. I'm asking this person to essentially be my externalized self-esteem, which is exhausting for anybody to have to be, and you process through that and get to the end of that rainbow and go, that really just isn't it, then you can accurately maybe assess the other part and begin to extract yourself from the relationship or make behavior changes of the, on the other person's part. But um, if you don't at least start with, this is all my fault, and really comb through your behaviors, what you're building your self-esteem around, why like you're insecure, like for me to think about how long you would have to like chip away at me before you could actually damage my self-esteem. And I've given you a lot of things with which to damage my self-esteem. Like you would know those things to mm -hmm. cut right through me. But at the same time, I understand human psychology, my own and others well enough to be inoculated from some of that. Um, usually at the end of a relationship, certainly with somebody that gets spiteful, they're going to try to cut you in those moments. So mm -hmm. I've been through that enough to go, objectively, I, that doesn't right. damage me. Yeah.